Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on determining whether a number is a term in arithmetic sequence. Now in a previous video we explored that arithmetic sequence is just the sequence of numbers where you're either adding the same amount each time or subtracting the same number each time. So you can see for this particular sequence we're adding 4 each time as we go up the sequence. So that is an arithmetic sequence. Now to work out whether 86 is in this sequence, we could just keep on adding 4 until we eventually see whether we hit the 86 or whether we go past it without hitting it. But there's a better way of doing it, and that is to find the nth term formula of this sequence first. Now we did that in a previous video, and if you don't know how to do that, then please watch that video first. But what we do is we look at what the difference between the terms is, which is 4, as we discovered, and that means the nth term formula starts with 4n. Remember, the difference is 4, you just whack that 4 in front of an n. And then what you do is you think, well, what is the first term of this sequence? If we want the first term of the sequence with this formula, well, when we want the first term, then n is going to be 1, because n is the position of the sequence. If it's the first term, n is 1. If we want the second term, n is 2, etc. So if we want the first term, then 4 times 1 is 4, but we don't want 4 as the first term of the sequence, we want 6, so we're going to have to add 2. Let's just check that. If we want the third term of this sequence, we would do 4 times 3 for the third term, which is 12, plus 2 is 14, and that's right. The third term is indeed 14. Now, if we know that the nth term formula is 4n plus 2, we can easily see whether 86 is a term of this sequence. What we do is we set that nth term formula equal to the 86. Because what we're doing is we want to say that the nth term of our formula is 86. What is n going to be? So we can now solve this equation. Remember, we kind of undo the stuff around n. n has been multiplied by 4. Then we're adding 2. The last thing we did was add 2. So we want to subtract 2 from both sides to undo that, remembering that Subtracting is the opposite of adding. So we minus 2 from the left-hand side, that gets rid of the plus 2, leaving just 4n. And if we minus 2 here, we get 84. And then to get rid of the times by 4 in front of the n, we divide by 4, we do the opposite. So that just becomes n, because the divide 4 cancels out the times 4. And 84 does divide by 4, it is 21. And what that tells us is that because this is a whole number, 86 is in the sequence. We've basically worked out that 86 is the 21st term in the sequence. Remembering that n just gives you the position of the sequence. If n is 21, we have the 21st term. So we could say 86 is in the sequence. And although the question didn't ask for it, we know where it is in the sequence. It is the 21st term. If it was the case that the 84 didn't divide by 4, so we didn't get a whole number, then it can't be a term of the sequence, because we can't, for example, have the 6.5 term or the 7.3 term, can we? It has to be a whole number to be a position in the sequence.